Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make this super easy watermelon cake using stuff you might already have in your fridge. Now let's get to it. Okay guys so here I'm just trying to explain that this watermelon was extremely huge and extremely heavy. I was literally having a hard time getting that thing around. So you're just going to need strawberries, blueberries, pineapples, grapes and cherries which I've already washed and dried so they're ready to go. Now on to the next step, cutting this watermelon. Oh my goodness, it was a hassle. So what you want to do first is just cut off the, the two ends. Be very careful not to cut yourself. And you just want to level it off so you can stand it up on the bottom while you cut the tops. So here you're just going to start trimming off from the white part on the top. Start trimming down all that green hard shell. I found it easiest to go in long strides with the knife instead of like short little um, fast strokes. Don't worry so much about all the white stuff because once you start trimming down the watermelon to the side that you want, that white stuff is going to be gone. Now I'm just going to flip it around to the side. And start trimming down all the edges. So here I'm just trying to cut it into a square, a cube actually. Okay, I've seen everyone do these type of cakes in a circle, like a regular cake, but I was like, no, I just I found it way easier just to cut it into a square. So here just trim down all the edges to the side that you want. See those white spots are just falling off, so it doesn't even matter if you don't take them all off in the in the beginning. So here I decided to get my turntable for my cakes so it can make it easier for me to spin the watermelon around while I cut the top to level it out. If you ever done cake decorating, this is basically almost the same thing except a lot easier because the watermelon is not fragile like the cake is. Basically all the same principles apply. You just cut and level. That way when you place your next uh, layer of watermelon on top, it won't be falling off. So once you're done shaving it down to the size that you want, start picking up your mess. And now this is my second watermelon, which I've already shaved off the shell. I'm just working on the white parts now. And here it was more easier because I was able to trim down so much of that watermelon since it did have to be a smaller diameter than the bottom layer.
And I found this to be the easiest way using a tray and a lot of napkins that we don't end up with a big mess all around your work area. And yes, my trays are from Easter. <laughs> I had them just laying around. So now here we're just going to start stacking it. And sadly, my top watermelon was very ripe already. That's why it was extremely juicy. So I recommend when you're looking for watermelons, try to find one that is not already very ripened. Now here you're just going to need some long skewers to secure the two layers together. But make sure you put the pointy part facing down. You don't want anyone to get injured in case someone bites into it or anything like that. I know you guys couldn't see what I was doing, but I'm just making five little poke holes to the top so I can secure the, the watermelons. And now you're going to need some toothpicks. And here I was just trimming down the extra part. And remember, if you're doing this for your family, well, of course, the cake does not have to be perfect unless you're a perfectionist. But if you are going to be selling this, I do recommend you do wear gloves, practice your hygiene, and make sure the cake is very square and equal. So here are my vegetable fruits that I'm going to be using. So I've already put my strawberry right in the center of the side I want it to be the front view and I'm just going to stick them in around the strawberry and you can do this cake with any kind of fruits vegetables whatever your heart desires whatever you guys like personally this is what me and my family liked so this is just the fruits I went with And I will put down in the description box how much of each fruit I did use and how tall the cake ended up being at the end. Make sure you just put the leaves down on the strawberry so you can give that nice green look to the whole cake. And I like how the blueberries are very little, so you can use those to fill up any gaps that you may have. So you don't see the, the watermelon in the back. So the goal here is basically just to go like in a pattern. So here I have strawberry, pineapple, blueberry, grape, cherry. And you're just going to do the same thing again, but in a different sequence. That way it doesn't look repetitive. And every time you're putting down the strawberries, make sure you leave a little gap in between each strawberry. That way you can fill up around it with the rest of your fruit that you have and when you're putting the pineapples i like to put it with the short end with the toothpick that way the fluffier part can be taking up more space from the top view And if your fingers don't fit, you can go easily just put in the toothpick and then stick the fruit in at the end. And don't worry, the fruits will not fall off since the watermelon is very sturdy. It's not like cake.
Here, I'm just showing you guys to get a good angle. And with these cherries, you do have to poke them at an angle because they do have seeds inside. And try to poke it in the same hole because then you end up with a big leaky mess. Okay, so here basically it's just the same thing over and over. Just think of it as think of it as the strawberry as the main centerpiece and all the rest of the fruits are going to be the accessories you put around it. So now I'm just going to fast forward you guys. You can see this in a bit faster motion because it did take me a while to organize all these fruits. Okay, so now we're going to be starting the top layer. So here I'm just checking which strawberry fits best in the sequence. And I'm just going to start continuing the rest of the process going up. And here we're just going to start doing like an S-shaped form. That way it looks like it's wrapping around the cake. And I personally prefer to put the strawberries facing up, preferring them down. But you can put them either way. And here I changed that cherry because it did not have like a nice long stem that I was looking for. And you can make the fruit line a lot thicker. Personally me, I just preferred it more thinner because it was not that many people that it had to feed. guys and i'm basically done so here's a little close-up of how it came out and to see what i did with all the leftover watermelon head on over to my instagram
Okay, and here's the full fruit cake all done. Okay guys, and that was it for today's video. I hope this was helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe to get notified every single time I post a new video. And thank you for watching.